Okay, this is sketchbook three. Um, technically, it's kind of of two things, but it's going to feel like one. So this first part, I'm going to do it all in one video. So, um, but you'll get scored for this first part, and then you'll get a second score for the second part. So this first part is basically the same thing we did last week. You're going to take the plexiglass and you're going to trace out your hand. But this time, I want you to have be holding something in your hand. So. If you want to hold something like this, you can hold it, whatever it does. It can be anything. It just has to be small enough that it can actually be on here. Okay. So then you're going to trace. So remember to close the one eye and do the outside edge. Okay. And do every bump guys and every edge. So I say outside edge, but like my thumb, even though it overlaps, it has an edge. So every edge that you can see, do it and be really precise. If you get this done, just, I don't know, in a minute, you're not doing it precise enough. Okay. So get that done and I'll show you my results here in a minute. Okay. Let me put a piece of paper behind it so you can see it. So this is what you should have. Notice you can see that my fingers are not completely straight. There's bumps, there's edges in them. Okay, you can see the wrinkle knuckle lines of my fingers. You can tell the exact edges of the pen. You can tell the bend of my fingers because of how precise I was as I traced it. That is what I'm looking for. If you just sit down and go, won't, 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 and you're done, you're not doing it correctly and you didn't listen to what you were supposed to do on the video. So the first time, okay? So this time, make sure you do. Do the edges nice. Make it look good. Okay, and then once you do this, you're going to need your pencil and your sketchbook and hold on to this. I'm not actually measuring, just something straight. Okay, so you're going to take your sketchbook and you're going to do this with the pen. I'm doing it with a Sharpie so you can see it, not a pen. Take that back. You're going to do that with the pencil so you can erase it later. I'm going to do it with the Sharpie so you can see it for now. But you're going to lay this on here as best you can and make sure your whole drawing is going to fit on this paper. And then come on and just shift just a tiny little bit so that... I have an edge. So I'm going to shift it up just a tiny little bit and I'm going to go like this and I'm marking where those grid lines are on my paper. Okay. And then I'm going to shift just a little bit to the right and do the same thing and mark where those grid lines are. Make sure everything's straight. Mark where those grid lines are on my paper like that. And then I'm going to take my ruler or my straight edge and I'm going to draw the grid line on there. Okay, so what you should have then is a grid on this paper and you're still your grid here with your drawing on it. And what I want you to do is now draw your hand on this paper using the grid. So I kind of laid one one up and drew like this one, this square, this square draw here, this square draw here, which was nothing, this square draw here. Okay, and so you end up with the same thing. All right. You can do this if you want, but you're going to have to keep lifting it and you're not really serving the purpose. What you want to do is like set it off to the side and try to recreate it exactly. So you can see I've gotten started. So you're going to recreate your hand drawing exactly as it is on the grid. So get that. I have a finished hand drawing about like this. And then your last step is to shade that. Just the hand, nothing in the background. So do your best to shade it. So you may have to look back at your hand. You may have to look back at your hand a few times to get the shadows and the different darks and lights. But just like in your self-portrait, you should have all eight shades in there somewhere that we did on that value scale. Okay, get that done. So notice uh, I put in my darks, my really darks, and then um, I kind of left the places that are supposed to be light alone. And I did that because I'm going to come in with my finger and blend that in. And notice how I, stick my, I use my finger like a tool. I don't go like this and rub it all over the place because then I get all my outside edges all messy. I use it as a tool to work that in there. There's my ring there. Okay. And so now I have those areas. And if I need a little lighter somewhere, which right here is where it was squished against the, the plexiglass, so it's lighter, then I erase that in. Okay. And I may just put a little bit lighter line right in there. All right. Okay. Your whole hand needs to be shaded like that. Okay. So get that done. Total. This is probably going to take you 45 minutes, um, maybe an hour top. So plan on that for your sketchbook. I want you to write on the top, uh, your favorite candy bar. 
so I know that you watch this video. Okay, thanks. Make sure you put your name on it as well. Bye.